Hello everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft series where we create mods without coding. Today, we are going to be taking a look at biomes. So yeah, we're going to be building a custom biome that's going to generate our world made out of different blocks and we can have different structures inside it and pretty much whatever we want. Now before we started, I added two new blocks. These are just basic blocks. The Ardanium infused dirt and the Ardanium infused grass. So this is, these are the blocks that are going to be showing up in our biome. So rag, rather than regular dirt, we're going to have Ardanium infused dirt and rag, rather than regular grass, we're going to be having Ardanium infused grass. Now of course you can just use regular dirt and grass. That's obviously not necessary, but I made custom grass just for fun. Alright, so to get started, we're going to come over to the Add button, and we're going to click on Biome. Now I'm going to call my biome just the uh, Ardanium Biome. Um, I'm not really getting that creative with names, but anyways. Ground Grass Block. We can set this to whatever block we want. Now we have to set it. If you want it to be regular grass, you can just set it to regular grass, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to set it to the Ardanium Infused Grass. And then the Underground Block is what shows up underground, so I'm going to make this... Uh, my dirt. Now the name, this will show up in game sometimes if you're using other mods that show the names of biomes. I don't think it's ever seen in vanilla, but I'm just going to leave it like this at the Ardanium biome. Now the air, grass, foliage, water, and water fog color, these are all the colors that show up in the different areas. So the air color is just the color of the air. The grass color, uh, if you didn't know, regular grass kind of changes color depending on what biome you're in. So, um... You, you can pick what color you think it should be. So I'm going to make it this purple. Totally weird color just to, um, to to fit in more with the Ardanium look. And then foliage color. Leaves and stuff do the same thing. So I'm going to do the same thing there. Water color. Uh, I think we'll make it a purpley blue. So like that. That looks... Or that one. That looks really good. And then water fog color. That's the color that shows up while you're underwater. So I'm going to do the same color. Okay, now for trees... You can either have vanilla trees or different trees that you make yourself. Now, I'm going to keep mine on vanilla trees, but I'm going to show you how to make custom trees. So first of all, you can select the tree type, whether you're doing vanilla or custom trees. So there's the default trees, which are like the oak trees, and big trees, which are like the big versions of the oak trees with all the different branches and stuff. Uh, obviously, then there's birch trees, the acacia trees, and then there's the versions of the big spruce trees. I'm just going to keep it like the normal tree. You can also change the height of the tree if you pick custom trees. And as for water depth, you can control pretty much how much of the stem can go underwater. Like if you have shallow water, sometimes like trees can end up in the water and you can control how much of that can actually end up in the water. Then you can control the blocks for the stems, the branches, the vines, and the fruits. So stem is like the trunk. The branch, I don't know why it's called branch. It's like the leaves. The vines are, you know, the vines hanging down from it. And fruits are like the cocoa beans in the jungle trees. So you can see in this little diagram here, the different colors match up to the different things in the diagram. Again, I'm just going to go back to vanilla trees, so it's all pretty much filled in for me, and I can pick these different types of trees. I'm just going to keep it at default. You know what? Actually, on second thought, we're going to make it big trees, just so that every tree pretty much is a big one. Okay, now for features, we can control all these different things. These are mostly pretty self-explanatory, but just so you know, these chunks, if you don't know, that's a... 16 by 16 area in a Minecraft world that goes all the way down from bedrock all the way up to the build height limit. If you hit F3 and G at the same time, you'll be able to see like borders around the chunks that will show you where each chunk starts and stops. So you can use that kind of to get like a reference of how it's going to look. Let's do like eight trees. That sounds pretty cool. So it's going to be like kind of a forest, but with less trees. So it's not exactly a forest, but you know, there will be more trees than normal, like in a plains. This grass is like tall grass. So I'm going to keep that at four. Seagrass, same thing. Flowers, mushrooms, big mushrooms, sand patches, gravel patches, reeds, and cacti. Just so you know, the reeds are sugarcane, just so you don't get confused about what that is. So all these different features are like different things that you can have in your biome. So you can click add to add these different things. So like, you know, you can have those rocks that show up in the tega biomes. You can have the bone fossils, more gold or emeralds whatever you want, and then you can also hit this X to get rid of them. So I'm going to keep the default so we have caves and we have ores. All right, now let's come over to structures. We can choose to generate strongholds, mine shafts, pillager outposts, different types of villages, woodland mansions, jungle temples, 
desert temples, igloos, ocean monuments, and shipwrecks. So I think I'm going to turn on plains villages. So we generate plains villages as well as strongholds, mine shafts, and pillager outposts. But I'm going to keep off the mansions, jungle, and desert temple, and all the other ones that are kind of more biome specific. Then ocean ruins. These are like the ocean monuments. Um, and there's two different types, if you didn't really know. So cold is like the cold ocean type and warm is like the warm ocean type. Okay, now we're on effects. So the biome music is just different music, as you can see here, that's played while you're in the biome. So you can have different music in your biome if you wanted to. And then ambient sound is just a sound that's played in the background over and over in your biome. And there's another sound effect that's played occasionally. And the mood sound is like the sound that plays in caves, like the creepy cave noises. So you can have a different one of those if you want. And then we can also change particles. And these particles will be shown everywhere throughout your biome. Okay, now for entity spawning, we can pretty much ignore this. All of the Minecraft vanilla mobs should show up in here just like normal. As it says here, you can add the different biomes that custom entities will spawn in. So we can make the custom entities spawn here anyways without doing this. So I'm going to ignore this and move on to the biome generation. So we can turn on and off generating an overworld. So if you wanted to put this in a custom dimension where like the whole dimension is this biome we can turn that off but i'm going to make it generate in the overworld for now now for biome weight this will control how often your biome will spawn so as it says if we make the weight smaller we're going to get a rarer biome now this is out of around 1024 of the same type of biomes so there's different types of biomes like icy cold warm and desert and they'll kind of make groups of them and that way you don't end up with a desert right beside an ice biome out of 1024 of them how many of those biomes will be this one. I'm going to do probably like 400. You should probably make yours rarer than that, but I'm keeping mine really high just so that we'll be able to find it easily. Okay, the biome temperature basically controls like how it will rain. So anything less than 0 0.15 will make it snow when it's supposed to be raining. Uh, between 0 0.15 and 1.5 will make it rain, and anything higher than 1.5 will basically disable rain so it won't rain at all like a desert i'm going to keep it again to 0 0.5 just the default now the raining possibility if you want to disable rain completely you can set it to zero uh or 0 0.5 is just the default and one will be always raining now we can also control the temperature group right here so i'm going to keep it on warm that's like plains and there's desert cool and icy and those should be fairly self-explanatory now we can also categorize the biome I'm going to put mine under uh, planes because it's sort of similar to planes. And we can also set the parent, which kind of it uses that sometimes when it's like putting biomes beside each other. So I'm just going to set this to planes again. Now, these tags are used for mob spawning sometimes. Uh, so we can add different tags again, depending on what our thing, depending on what our biomes like. So I'm just going to add planes and maybe uh, dry, magical, that sounds cool. And then also overworld. Let's just add all those tags. There we go. Okay, now we can also control the height and the height variation. So the height will basically control like how high up it is in the world. So if we want to make it higher up, like mountains sort of, we can bump this up. That way it'll be taller and only be put like beside mountains and stuff. I'm going to keep it like this. This is the default. This is like planes. And the height variation is how much uh, the height will vary throughout your biome. So again, if you want to make like a mountain, you can make this crazy high. But again, I'm just going to keep it like this, just like the default. And we'll see what we end up with. So we're going to hit save and let's load up the game. All right. So here we are back in the world we used last time to test out the structures. Now, remember, you're going to have to fly pretty far and generate brand new chunks for uh, your new biome to generate. So we're going to keep going. And there's one right away. Cool. I did make it really not rare, so here we are. Uh, you can see here is, um, these are the jungle leaves because it's right beside a jungle. Uh, and you can see, yeah, the grass is that purple color. And if we put grass in here, it's that purple, as well as the leaves and stuff. Anyways, as we're going through this biome, you can see our new type of grass and our new type of dirt. And if we keep flying through, we'll see our custom mob. All right, now this was a fairly small size of biome, but I'm sure we could find a bigger one if we kept going. But yeah, really, that's all I have to show for you today. Uh, but I do have a couple more things that I want to show you guys, just as little bonuses before this video ends. All right, back in M Creator, one thing I wanted to do is I want to change the Ardanium airship to actually only spawn 
inside of this biome. So we come over to this restrict to biome types and we can add our custom Ardanium biome and just save that up. I'm going to do the same with our cow. So it will, under spawning, we can just add biome where this entity spawns and let's add our Ardanium biome. And that's it. So thanks everybody for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.